Welcome to an overview of the exploratory program at Ithaca College. I'm Professor Maria DiFrancesco, the Academic Director of the Exploratory Program. Today, you will learn what it means to be an exploratory student, about the structure of our program, and what it means to identify as one of the 200 plus students that make up our community. IC explorers are not undecided. Rather, they are actively and courageously engaged in the pursuit of self-knowledge and on a direct path to realizing their highest aspirations. And this is not odd. What is odd is that we expect average high school students to know exactly what they want to study or what they want to be. Statistically speaking, approximately 25 to 50 percent of all first-year students entering institutions of higher learning are undeclared. Another 75% of all students change majors at least once within the four-year period it takes them to earn a typical college degree. What this means is that if you are an explorer, you should be happy because you are ahead of the curve. You know from the start that you don't know what you want to do. Taking this precious time to question your goals, reflect on your values, and deeply investigate your options will pay off. Because when you do make that major decision, it will be based in research and made with great care and lots of guidance. We are here to tell you that you should not rush to declare a major just because your friends have declared a major. There is no reason to suffer from fear of missing out or FOMO. Because while it is true that college has become an endless buffet of majors and minors, and that students increasingly feel like they need to know precisely what they're going to do with their lives, the process of going to college can be confusing. And while it is true that some students know they want to go to college and are ready for it, others may need to take a gap year. Taking time to volunteer, work full-time or part-time, or even travel may be essential to help making these students ready for college when the time comes. It is also worth recognizing that some individuals are just not interested in college and may never attend college. These high school grads may not fit into the cookie cutter ideals that have become the norm in our society. And there is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing inherently wrong with someone finding their way in life without attending or finishing college. Among entrepreneurs and household names who did not graduate from college are individuals such as Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Rachel Ray, and Oprah Winfrey. Now, might it be harder to get ahead if you choose not to go to college or can't go to college? Well, yes. In fact, recent articles suggest that very substantial increases in employability and income continue to exist for college graduates and that even for students who do not obtain a credential, completing some amount of college still improves their prospects. And what does this mean? It means that if you are a caregiver of such a student, then rather than push them to go to college too soon, you might think instead to try to be as supportive as possible and to meet your student wherever they are. That way, when and if they do go to college, you will both be better prepared. So what do exploratory students get? They get more of everything before explorers even step foot on campus. We offer webinars on registration and host virtual office hours so students can talk one-on-one -on -one with exploratory team members, all of whom are extremely familiar with the college and the integrative core curriculum. Once on campus, explorers solidify their belonging to the community by building relationships with exploratory faculty, peer mentors, peer leaders, and staff, all of whom work together to teach explorers how to exploit the college's vast resources. Indeed, explorers can count on a five-point system of advising. They can count among supports, not only their faculty advisors, peer leaders, and professionals in academic advising, but also the HNS Dean of Student Services and the Program Director. Explorers also get to take Exploring the Options. In this small, one-credit discussion-based course, 
students learn about self-assessment tools they can use to measure their aptitudes. With dedicated faculty members and peers, they read about growth mindset, cultivating grit, and the value of creativity. They also get hands-on experience building these skills through activities and projects that give them a safe space to fail, but also a safe place to learn how to succeed. We partner with others across campus, such as the Office of Career Services and Academic Advising Center, to give our exploratory students access to career coaching and networking events, as well as career exploration and self-assessment tools. Intentionally planned co-curricular events, whether it's the Majors and Minors Fair or hosting acclaimed speakers like Julian Gordon, focus on inspiring explorers not just to dream about their goals, but to methodically plan making them happen. Career information nights focusing on health professions and communications directly connect explorers to peers, faculty members, and deans of schools. Peer leaders and ambassadors offer regular meetings to discuss such things as registration and mapping to help explorers make four-year plans for their time at IC. So where do explorers go? They go everywhere from psychology and emerging media to Spanish, culture and communications, theater arts management, and health sciences. In fact, while 50 to 55% of our students usually declare majors in the school of h and and another 20 to 25% declare majors in communications, our students find homes across the college with another 10 to 15% joining health sciences and human performance, and business, respectively speaking, and the rest entering the School of Music. Indeed, of the over 100 majors and 70 minors available to students at IC, only about seven majors are so prescriptive and restrictive as to not be available to explorers. Another advantage to the program is that students can explore until the semester they earn 60 credits or their second semester of sophomore year. Nonetheless, about half of all explorers declare majors by the end of their first year, and by the end of the second year, only a handful still need a little coaching to make a final degree choice. In conclusion, IFC offers explorers a program that promotes success. Structured coursework gives explorers language to put their experiences into words. We teach them how to make reasoned, authentic choices, and we coach them to be resilient. Together with consistent access to faculty, staff, and peer mentors, explorers are solidly equipped to be successful, and perhaps most importantly, they find a home away from home at IC. If you still have questions about being an explorer, please contact us by emailing exploratory at ithga.edu or by calling 607-274-3547. We hope to hear from you, and we wish you the best. Thank you.